welcome to the channel. I'm Aysen and so glad you're here. If you are looking to learn Python from zero, or maybe you're just brushing up your skills, you're absolutely in the right place. Whether you're a total beginner or you've written a few lines of code before, this series is designed to make Python simple, practical, and even a bit fun. We're going to break things down step by step, walk through examples together, and by the end, you'll not only understand Python, you'll actually be able to build real projects with it. Now, before we dive in, just a quick heads up. This is going to be a hands-on learning experience. That means you'll want to code along with me. Pause the video when needed and test things out on your own. Trust me, the best way to learn programming is by doing it. This is so important if you find this video helpful at any point. Or you're planning to follow along with this series. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with anyone you know who's also interested in learning Python. It really helps the channel grow, and it lets me know that you'd like to see more tutorials like this. Let's walk through step by step how to install Python using the free Anaconda distribution. In this installation lecture, we're going to cover the following. First and most importantly, we'll install the Anaconda distribution for Python. Now, the Anaconda distribution comes with the Python programming language along with a user-friendly development environment and a helpful navigator tool to manage your projects. That's exactly why we've chosen to use Anaconda in this course. Instead of downloading Python directly from python.org, with Anaconda, not only do you get Python, but you also get access to several powerful tools and libraries that are especially useful if you are new to programming. Once we've installed Anaconda, we'll take a quick look at Jupyter Notebook, the development environment we'll be using throughout the course. Keep in mind, we'll explore Jupyter and Python coding much more thoroughly in later lectures. This one is focused just on getting everything set up. After that, we'll also introduce some online platforms that let you write and run Python code without installing anything at all. A quick note on these browser-based options. There are now quite a few websites where you can run Python code right in your browser as long as you have internet access. You don't need to install anything locally. While these sites aren't the main focus of this course mainly, because they can change features or pricing at any time, we'll still give you a short overview of some popular non-install platform at the end of this lecture just so you know what alternatives are out there. To start off, we'll install Python via the free Anaconda Individual Edition. It's completely free and open source. As mentioned earlier, this installation gives you Python along with many valuable packages and tools, including Jupyter Notebook, which is where will write our code during this course. And the great thing is Anaconda can be installed on any of the major operating systems, Windows, Mac operating system, or Linux. So to get started, the first step is heading over to the official Anaconda download page. I have put lots of effort for preparing these lessons. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the channel. 
I'll show you how to download and install Anaconda in your PC or your desktop computer. You can go to www.anaconda.com slash downloads or you can go to Google and search for Anaconda download. skip the registration if you are running windows operating system on your computer just click on download but there is another options for mac operating system and linux as well just wait for the file to be downloaded after downloading open the file Minimize this screen. Next, I agree. Next, here just select where you want to install it. Click these two options, and it's installing in your PC. After it has been installed, click on next. Next. And you can uncheck this option and finally finish finally we have anaconda navigator for running anaconda just you can go to the start button and search for anaconda navigator it comes automatically open it as I told you before it's first time it's downloading in our system so it's take a little bit time here we have anaconda navigator which is essentially a graphical interface for various development environments. You'll notice that there is a bunch of development environment in Anaconda like Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, PowerShell Prompt for You, R Studio, and another development environments. For this course, we are using Jupyter Notebook, not Jupyter Lab. Just keep in mind. In the next lesson, I will give you a complete explanation about Jupyter Notebook. Let's quickly look at a few free new install Python environments available online. Run Jupyter.org slash try. Run Jupyter Notebooks in your browser without installing Python. It's temporary, so your work won't be safe, but great for quick testing. To Google Colab requires a Google account. It's similar to Jupyter, but cloud-based. It saves your work to Google Drive and is ideal for data science and machine learning. 3. Replet, a browser-based internet development environment. They have limitations like temporary sessions, limited resources, and may require payment for full features. Also, we don't officially support this in the course. For having access to the links, please check the description section. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel. Please put your comments and I will reply them as soon as possible. See you in the next lesson.